Hello, today I will be talking to you about mathematical induction. Now I know what you must be thinking, what in the world is mathematical induction? Well, mathematical induction is one of the many methods used to formally prove something. It is generally, generally used when you are trying to prove a mathematical statement that has a variable with a lowest or highest value. For example, you might use it if the variable is n where zero where n is uh, greater than zero and less than infinity or for example if n was greater than negative infinity but less than four note that you, as you can see it is used when the bounds of the variable are finite in one direction but infinite in the other induction is generally not used for other uh, variables such as where n is greater than uh, negative infinity and less than infinity, or if n was greater than zero or greater, uh, less than six. You get the idea. The most common form of uh, using mathemat mathematical induction in a question is first that you have to solve it for the base case. The base case would be the finite uh, bounds of your question. For example, previously if n was uh, greater than zero but less than infinity, the base case would be where n is equal to zero. The inductive step is where you assume that what you are trying to prove is true, but then you have to prove that it is true for the next value. For example, you would prove it, prove it for n, but you have to assume it's true for n, but prove it for n plus one. Okay, for example, I'm going to solve a question for you. We have to prove by induction that for all n is that are greater than zero, that this statement is true. Let's solve that. To prove this by induction, we have to first use the base case. Here you can see the base case is where n is equal to zero. Well, if we look at the left side of this equation, you would get that uh, that side would be equal to 1 if n is equal to 0. Because you would get 2 times 0, which is 0, plus 1, which becomes 1. Now if you look at the le right side, you get n plus 1 squared, which would be 0 plus 1 squared, which is 1 squared, which is 1. As you can see, 1 is equal to 1, therefore this statement is true for n is equal to 0. Now we have to use the inductive step. We assume that the statement is true for all n. But now we have to prove that it is true for n plus 1. So, we'll assume that the original statement is true and try to prove it for n plus 1. If we tried to substitute in this e equation using n plus 1, what would we get? We would get 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus and so on plus 2n plus 1 plus 2 times n plus 1 plus 1. Now, if you were to solve, now notice that the uh, left side of most of that uh, part we can substitute for n plus 1 squared because that's what we assumed at the beginning. So then we would get n plus 1 squared plus 2 times n plus 1 plus 1. Now, if we continue to solve that, we would get. Uh, n squared plus 2n plus 1 plus 2n plus 3, which you can then uh, add the terms together and then uh, you would end up with n plus 2 squared. If we look on the right side of the equation, we have n plus 1 plus 1 squared. You can uh, easily add that to get n plus 2 squared. And as you can see, the left side is now equal to the right side, which is exactly what we want. Good. Now since both the base and the inductive step have been proved, it has now been proved that by mathematical induction, 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 2n plus 1 is equal to n plus 1 squared for all n greater than 0. Now what have we done here? Think about it. We just proved it for one case, and then we proved it for n plus 1 for all n. What does that mean? That means that if you proved it for zero, 
and you prove it for n plus 1, then it must be true for 0 plus 1. Therefore, it's true for 1. So you have it true for 0, you have it true for 1. But you also proved it for n plus 1, therefore you proved it for 1 plus 1, which is 2. So you proved it for 0 plus 1 plus 2, then you've also proved it for 3, then 4, then 5, and so on. That is why mathematical induction is so powerful. And it's very useful to prove mathematical equations for both math mathematicians and computer scientists. Thank you for watching.